What's up everybody, my name is Adam and I'm an artist out of Northern Wisconsin. So I ran a poll on my YouTube channel and on that poll, it shows here the Flux Max Star Wars machine unboxing. Only 4% of you wanted to see this video. So this video is for you. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the fourth collection FK Irons Flux Max tattoo machine. This is a tattoo machine that FK Irons released on May the 4th, which is National Star Wars Day. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different models we could have chose from. This is the Master version, the Trooper version, and the Rebel version. We obviously got the Stormtrooper white silverish version. And we got it in the 4.5 millimeter stroke length. So I filmed the whole unboxing and did the voiceover on this whole video last week. So any of the opinions I give on this tattoo machine during the unboxing are from before I used the tattoo machine. I want anyone that's thinking about buying this tattoo machine to watch this full video from the beginning to the end, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys my full in-depth opinion on this tattoo machine. Now with all that said, let's get into the unboxing. All right guys, let's start off this Flux Max unboxing by taking a look at the box. You'll notice the outside of the box is Star Wars themed. A cool little feature you'll notice right away, the spaceship on the front of the box is actually made out of FK Irons tattoo machines and the Vertex needles. Obviously, the box comes with a tamper-proof cellophane plastic wrapped around it. If you ever order a machine, mostly from FK Irons, and it does not have this plastic on it, your product might be tampered with. In that case, I would contact FK Irons and get a replacement right away. Along with your package, you will receive this. It's uh, the fourth collection Star Wars Edition FK Irons patch. You could just take a hot iron and you can iron that on to any piece of clothing. On the back of the box, behind the patch, you'll notice these three tattoo machines on the back. These are the tattoo machines that FK Iron is selling as a part of this collection. On the left is the Master, in the center is the Trooper, on the right is the Rebel. We have the Stormtrooper one in the center. To open the box, you're going to want to pull up on the Star Wars sleeve to pull it off to see the box. I would have preferred if the box itself was actually just Star Wars theme instead of having a sleeve. Next, the first thing you're going to want to check right away is to see if your tamper seal has been messed with. As you can see, mine has clearly been opened before. If you order in a form of shipping to where your package has to be delivered on an airport, plane a lot of the times an airport will open up your package to see the contents inside the plastic on the outside of my box wasn't tampered with so i don't know why my sticker was peeling up like that here's some footage of me struggling to open the box the lid to the box is magnetic and the tattoo machine is presented very nicely on the inside with the fourth collection star wars edition of this tattoo machine you could only get it in the version with two batteries and you can only get it in 4.0 and 4.5 stroke the machine itself is kind of an off-white, uh, matte, silverish color. I asked the owner of FK Irons why this was, and he told me it's because anodizing the machine to white is almost impossible with the type of aluminum that they're using. But in my opinion, this off-white, matte color is very, very awesome and really cool looking. Obviously, with the tattoo machine being white probably isn't the best idea, but assuming that you wrap your tattoo machine and clean it properly, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. The Flux Max, along with all the tattoo machines provided by FK Irons, has a click grip. As in, when you spin the grip, you can feel it clicking when you turn it. It gives the machine more of a tactile feel when you're turning the grip compared to other machines, and I actually prefer this with FK Irons. This tattoo machine came lubed up like crazy. I had to continuously stop filming just to wipe the tattoo machine down of all the lube and grease on it. You just twist the battery to the side to take it off. Something that's different from the original Flux to the Flux Max is that on the back of the motor bolt, after you take the battery off, you can actually see your stroke length. Here it says 4.5 stroke. They actually didn't include this until the Exo tattoo machine with putting the stroke length on the motor bolt. Another change from the Flux to the Flux Max is that they added more threads to where you connect the grip. They did this because a lot of people had problems on the Flux because on the Flux you would you would go to stick your needle out really really far and then your grip would reach the end of the thread and actually fall off. The reason why that's so important with the Flux Max is because they introduced the 4.5 stroke. And what that is means that your needle travels further. Your needle travels 4.5 millimeters from the inside of the tattoo machine out to the skin. And having the needle travel further is nice because then you can stick out your needle farther out of your tattoo machine and still pick up ink. I almost forgot to show you guys what you get in the rest of the box. 
So inside the box is a foam insert that you can just pull out. Behind the foam insert, you'll see the dark lab wall charger port. I live in the US, so I have the standard US wall plug-in. I'm assuming if you're internationally and overseas from the US, I'm assuming that you guys would get the port that corresponds with your walls. For the charger port itself, I don't really know what much to say about it. I mean, it kind of feels high quality. I, I would assume that you guys should probably be using this one over any other port, but I mean, any port, <laughs> that can, has a USB plug-in with it will charge your tattoo machine. And then alongside the charger dongle, you'll also get the cable. This part of the box also came a little smash. So FK Irons, you know, you guys gotta stop smashing boxes. That's what she said. The charger cable itself is USB A or B or whatever it is. And then the other side is the standard type C charger. So also along with getting the Flux Max, I also ordered the Powerbolt 2 Plus extended uh, life battery. It's a $350 battery that supposedly gets you 15 hours of battery life per charge. I just decided to leave the unboxing of that in this video. If you guys want to see a whole separate video on that, let me know down in the comments. So obviously one of the biggest selling points with getting an FK Irons tattoo machine now over its competitors is the modular collection. What the modular collection is, is that FK Iron's older tattoo machine, the Flux and the Exo tattoo machine are all backwards compatible with the Flux Max. All of those tattoo machines all come in three different parts, the grip, the motor, and the battery. All the previous grips, the small one from the Flux, the big one from the Exo, all work on the new Flux Max. Same with FK Iron's Powerbolt 1, Powerbolt 1 Plus, Powerbolt 2, Powerbolt 2 Plus, they all work on the new Flux Max. And as you can see here, I upgraded all my previous FK Irons tattoo machines now with the Powerbolt 2 battery. I completely lost the video footage of me going through the battery menu. But because I'm so late to the game with this Flux Max review, there's so many videos now on YouTube where they go over the menu. Otherwise, you could pause the video and take a look at this piece of paper where it goes over all the features. As for the weight of the Flux Max tattoo machine, it comes out to 208.5 grams. Comparing that weight to the previous FK Irons Flux tattoo machine, that one came out to 181.04 grams. And then the previous EXO tattoo machine, that comes in at 225.3 grams. The original first Powerbolt battery comes in at 67.3 grams as the new Powerbolt 2 battery comes in at 67.8 grams. And if anyone's interested in the Powerbolt 2 Plus battery, that comes in at 87.95 grams. All right, this is the part of the video where I give you guys my opinions on the Flux Max. This tattoo machine is pretty good. The problem I currently have with it is that I got the 4.5 stroke version. The higher number you have for stroke length, the harder hitting your tattoo machine is going to be. The pretty standard stroke length that people use for everything is right around 4 millimeter stroke. And what 4.5 millimeter stroke is going to be used for is like if you had to do like a huge back piece with like a lot of line work in it to where you had to use like really big liner needles, like nine liners and up, or if you need to do stippling, this tattoo machine is also great for that. I run my tattoo machines around nine volts, 8.5, nine volts. And even at those voltages, I feel that this tattoo machine is very, very punchy feeling. And what you would do to take out some of that punchy feeling is you would turn your voltage up, but because this machine is hitting so hard, it doesn't feel safe going over nine volts. And then on their website, they also say that it's really good for color packing but i personally would never use this for color packing i just feel like it's hitting way too hard and that's gonna mess up the skin and overwork the skin the 4.5 stroke version of this tattoo machine is what i would call like a specialist tattoo machine where it's only used for special occasions like doing the big line work like i said or doing stipple but that's the flux max at the 4.5 stroke version the nice thing about the flux max is that you could take it apart you can take the battery off. You can grab your old flux if you have one. You can take that. This is a 4.0 stroke uh, flux right here. And you can put the battery on that, put the grip on that. Now I have a 4.0 stroke flux max.
Definitely if you're an apprentice or a newer artist and you don't know the difference between stroke lengths yet, I would definitely just order the Flux Max starting off in the 4.0 stroke version. I already had all the power bolts in the previous stroke lengths, even this one, the 3.2 stroke. I had all the previous ones, so I just figured I'd also get the 4.5 while I was at it. Another thing I haven't talked about at all yet in this video is that the Flux Max actually has with the Powerbolt 2 battery, it actually has something called eGive. The way we access eGive on your tattoo machine is that you'll have a couple buttons here. You hold the center one, it's gonna pull up a whole menu and the very first setting is gonna say eGive. Right here it says uh, zero, zero. You have eGive one, eGive two and eGive Three. What eGive is on this tattoo machine is that when the needle touches the skin, the tattoo machine will actually change the torque of the motor and it will change the voltage that the needle is hitting the skin to try to make a smoother blend if you're trying to do black and gray gray wash. So this was a feature available with the previous battery with the just the standard power bolt, but now with the power bolt two, when you turn it on, you'll, you can see your give setting. See right here, I have it set to three. The camera can't pick it up very well, but when I turn the machine on, it'll, the word sensing will pop up. Right there, it was only for a split second. What's that, what that is doing is the machine is activating the needle and right away for that split second, it is calculating the tension on the push bar on the back of the needle so it knows how to adjust the motor for the e-give. In fact, now having the Powerbolt 2, what I've been doing is using the 4.0 stroke tattoo machine uh, motor bolt, and I've been using it at give setting two for black and gray gray wash. One of the reasons I like FK Irons tattoo machines so much is that if you look at it here, you see that the grip and the body of the machine, there is no gap right here. It's all uniform all the way through because there is a flashing on this motor part. So when you undo the grip, the grip is underneath the flashing of this. So no, there is no gap in your tattoo machine, allowing liquids or anything to fall down inside of it. Now, comparing that to a competitor right here, we got the Critical Torque tattoo machine. I got a full review on my YouTube channel about this. This is actually a really nice tattoo machine. But the problem with this grip is that when you undo it, there's a big gap right there where liquids or any Thing could fall down inside of it. Obviously your tattoo machine is gonna be wrapped, so that shouldn't happen. But when you're cleaning it or anything, it's just it's just unappealing to me and it just seems dirtier in my opinion when a tattoo machine has that gap. This is actually a really cool tattoo machine. It lights up and everything. Look how cool that is. Video on my YouTube channel. Been talking about dirtiness <laughs> with the tattoo machine. Um, right away, guys, do not get the Stormtrooper one. I messed up. Yes, it is the coolest one. The problem is, is that it's like matte and that it's white. So you would think wrapping it, you'll, you'll keep it clean, but we already all know this, that ink sometimes gets on like the edge of the rim of your grip. Let me tell you something. It is almost impossible to get that off. I have like a little stain right here and I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it with cleaner and with uh, alcohol and everything and it's scratched already it's super super scratched just trying to get that one little drop off i used this grip two times two times and same with the battery i had a little drip on the back from when i set my machine down on my tray when i was cleaning everything and man it is impossible to get ink off of this i don't even know why that they would even ship this without even testing that but just trust me guys, do not get the white version. So what tattoo machine am I running right now? I am currently running the original Flux still uh, with the original Flux grip and the Powerbolt 2 Plus. I'd be running the Flux Max, but because this is white and stains like crazy, and because I got the 4.5 stroke version, <laughs> this is useless to me. So I always get messages all the time on Instagram where people are asking me, what's the difference between the Flux motor and the Flux Max motor? And besides stroke length, if this was also the 4.0 stroke motor, same with, with this being the 4.0 stroke motor, the only difference would be that on the Flux Max, it has a couple extra threads on top. And that is literally the only difference between the Flux Max and the Flux motor. Otherwise, they're literally the exact same motor. Some people tell me that the Flux Max is more soft, but it's not. It's the exact same as the Flux if you have the 4.0 stroke. 
If you want a very soft tattoo machine, I would look at getting the XO 3.2 stroke. You could also get the Flux in 3.2, and that would be the exact same thing. They are the exact same motor. Getting it in the 3.2 stroke just puts in less ink in the skin, allowing to give you more time for soft blends while doing black and gray. But besides doing the opaque gray that I've been doing a lot on my Instagram, what I've been doing for the gray wash is I've been just going down to give setting two, and that will take a lot of the punchiness out of it, giving you lots of time to do your smooth black and gray with the 4.0 stroke tattoo machine. Another reason why I'm still using this tattoo machine also at the give setting two is because I'm going to begin this, the Cheyenne Soul Nova Mark II tattoo machine. And that tattoo machine actually has a dial on it to switch between the give settings. On theirs, they call it steady mode and responsive mode and extra responsive mode. I'll begin in that tattoo machine and I have a whole first impressions uh, on that tattoo machine where I talk about it here in this video on my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna keep using this at give setting two for black and gray, just so I'm ready for when that uh, other tattoo machine drops, I'm ready to compare it to that. Talking about tattoo machines, man, it's what I do. I'm gonna need you guys to click that subscribe button and make sure you like this video so your boy can get on top. Leave any of your questions down below in the comments and I'll try to answer them. As always guys, have a good day. Peace out, bye-bye.